Good morning to you, my good man. You don't know how pleased I am to meet one of Britain's stalwart small shopkeepers. You are, sir, as Napoleon once said, and the less said about him the better, a nation of what you are. Crikey, Moose, I'm a nice, and it's lovely to meet you too. What can I do for you? It is not what you can do for me, kind sir. It is what we can do for you. I am touring this green and pleasant land, trying to recruit people we can trust to be at the forefront of our campaign for better food. Well, you can sign me up for a start. If there's one person who believes in good food, it is me. I only eat in the best French restaurants. I'm a bit of a gourmandizer, if I do say so myself. Then I have stumbled on the right person. If you satisfy all our requirements, we would be pleased to support your store, Tony and Ken's, in our weekly magazine, The Full English, and you can display this sticker in your shop window. This is wonderful. Is all this free? Absolutely free gratis, and you can have these Arsenal and Taylor Swift tickets into the bargain. However, there is one proviso that everything in the shop must be British, preferably English, and there is no European food, particularly that stinking French cheese. And what a good idea. Yes, I think Ken and I can support this. Most of the food in the shop is sourced locally, for example. And I'm sure that is correct. However, there are some foods I can see on your shelves that do not meet our exacting nationality standards. Those tins of Irish stew would have to go rotten place island full of Guinness, dreadful stuff like liquid haggis. No Guinness or Irish stew. I think we can manage that. What about pizza and pasta? I know they're Italian, but they've been naturalized into our culture, haven't they? Absolutely not. You'll be saying next that you're selling snails because you've got some in the garden. So no sugarcane, melons, peaches, oranges, lemons, custard apples, guavas, lychees, kiwis, mangoes, avocados, squid, octopus, bananas, haggis, French wine, champagne, Brazil nuts, peanuts, pecans, olive oil, tea, coffee, edam gouda, brie, mozzarella, manchego, cambert, Cod is from Iceland. I could go on. Hang on a mo. The shelves would be bare. And better bare than covered with foreign muck. By the way, is your partner Ken British or is he an immigrant? I've been led to believe by the local police that you have been making allegations about some of your customers. No, I don't think so. What sort of allegations are we talking about? that a number of our members at Reform UK have been blacking up and doing impromptu performances of the Black White Minstrels in your shop. No, they haven't. I've never seen anybody dressing up as the Black and White Minstrels in this shop. So you're denying it? Yes, I am. Stop messing about. Uh, well, I'm afraid I believe it, and so do the police. I quite like the black and white minstrels, as it happens, and they were the first victims of cancel culture. Did you know Lenny Henry was on the black and white minstrels? No, I'm afraid I didn't, but Lenny Henry hasn't ever been in the shop, has he? I've also been led to believe that you two have appeared in blackface uh, in this shop, bopping along to such favourites as Mammy. Camptown races and Dixie. I deny it. You're making all this up. You must be completely bonkers. Have you been eating cat litter? So you've got problems with mentally ill and neurologically diverse people as well, have you? That's also being reported by lots of our Reform UK members too. Is this because we wouldn't join that crazy full English scheme of yours? We don't sell Fruit Loops, you know.